you guys. Hi, welcome. And what was it like putting a suit on for the first time? It's incredible. It was such a crazy experience. Um, and then even seeing the photo, because you know, the majority of the time I can't see what it looks like and my face can't move, so I'm just like um, looking at everyone else's reactions. Uh, and yeah, when I when I showed the cast like the pictures first, like and they got really excited, that made me even more excited. Um, I love it. Yeah. When you when you signed on, did you know that it would happen just quickly? No. I mean, I, I knew it would happen eventually, uh, but I didn't know. I wasn't sure. And then obviously with last season, um, when Wally gets hit by the park, so uh, I wasn't sure if that would kickstart something straight away. Or, um, uh, but yeah, I was definitely surprised when I read the. Uh, how comfortable is this? How easy is it? It's like you can move, like you definitely like tighten up a bit, but you can do pretty much any movement. It's just um, it's more so the face. Like it's quite hot after a while, so luckily we don't film it in LA. So I think that that would be that would be tough. And also I get like these sweat marks just on because my mask is kind of exposed. Like when we take it off, it's just like lines and like sweat. It's like, really weird. Um, but it's fun. It's worth it. We got it. We have. How many are there? Am I one suit? It's just what the light of them. Oh, to rotate? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Surely there has to be more than one, I would hope, but I think that they're quite expensive, so <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't think they've got like 10 to this rotate. We've seen kind of the beginning of sparks between Wally and Jesse. Is that something that you know we're going to explore their relationship? I don't know. Um, I would imagine. I would imagine so. If um, if they get to connect again, that that they're not just going to forget about that. Um, but I read it episode by episode, so we'll wait and see. Yeah. We've heard maybe thought there's going to be uh, some type of crossover with all the, the CW shows. Do you yeah. think is your character, do you hope your character will be part of that? I hope so. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I have no idea, I haven't been told, but uh, I hope so. Because it would be, I've not, never done a crossover, so it would be cool to be involved in um, one of the big ones. Yeah, get to interact with new people and um, be on different sets. I don't know, it would be awesome. And with, with Wally West becoming a, becoming a superhero, yes. how, how does that change? How does that change him as a person? Yeah, it changes him completely. Like because his main thing, his main issue is like um, not feeling like he was enough, not feeling really like he was a very good person, especially with losing his mom and. Um, and having so many trust issues, creating so many different barriers, and so now he's in this place where he's like, I know exactly who I am. I help people, you know, his kid flash. He's just like, he knows that he's where he's meant to be. So he's just really content and very happy, and maybe a little too confident, maybe. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's good. It's good to see you on the show. Thanks, man. <laughs> Well, that was last season, he was kind of very independent and a little bit of a rogue, kind of doing what he wanted to because he's grown up so independent. Now that he is part of this team and is the kid Flash, I mean, does he kind of step back and is he willing to kind of take that mentorship and listen to everyone else, or is that confidence still going to push him to kind of be that a little bit stubborn Wally? I think he's still a little stubborn at heart. Um, and he, on one hand, he's more mature, on another hand, he's is a little less mature. Like I think he's very excited about having powers and he loves his job. Um, that may get the best of him at times and it may work to his benefit. So um, yeah, it's just, it's just finding out. But it's it's fun to play him like this. Yeah, it's a little cocky. How much how many episodes have you met for this I've read, I've read the We're filming two right now. Yeah. So. Which is your favourite? Which are you most excited for fans to see? Out of the three? Yeah. I guess I'm excited for them to see the first one because it's the first episode of the new season. Um, I think people will be really excited about Flashpoint. Um, and I think that there will be a lot of shocks in that first episode that people will be wondering where the season is going to go. You know? I think that, that I'm excited for people to have questions and you know, freak out a bit. Adam, you maybe can't answer this, but will Wally, <laughs> will Wally like confide to anyone? I mean, does he 
tell Barry, hey, or you know, I, I got powers now, I need help, you know, well, or is he going to try to keep it to himself and work it out? Um, yeah, we'll have to we'll have to find out about that. Uh, yeah, it's good. Okay, so good. Uh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> play it safe. <laughs> yeah, it's easier when the producers are with you. Yeah. Like, They're like, no. Like, <laughs> and sometimes like they answer more than well, they answer more than we do because they know exactly. Mm-hmm. What they do, so. Before being cast on the show, were you a, a, a comic book fan or Superman? Did you like superheroes or anything? I love superheroes. I, I hadn't read. Um, I didn't grow up reading comic books. It wasn't until I started watching The Flash like before I auditioned, and then I became hooked with the show. And then I bought the like New Fifty Two comics, um, and then I auditioned. Yeah. <laughs> so. It was pretty fun. So, The Flash probably became my favorite superhero um, right before I found out about the audition. What's it? Yeah. How aware were you of the sort of Flashpoint storyline before reading the script? Did you know what it was about? I, kn- I watched the animated um, film, and so I had an idea. Yeah, so I knew what Flashpoint meant. Um, and when I read season two about uh, when Barry went, Everything's going to be changed. Everything's going to be different. And I was like, am I even going to be on the show? Like, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I had no idea. So, but I got really excited. I think it's always good to just switch up, switch stuff up like when you can, especially in such a big way. And The Flash, luckily, like it can be realistic in their world, worlds because um, of what they're dealing with. You know, so, What's it like filming, like the speed scenes, do you just like kind of stand there and then they throw in all the special effects later? Uh, does it feel weird? To... It's super weird, yeah, it's super awkward because I don't really know what to do. Um, but luckily Grant was there that first day that I was in the suit. So I was just asking him and he would tell me like, give me uh, tips and stuff of what to do. But like basically like when I, when you zoom out or whatever, you like quickly hit a pose and then you run out off screen. <laughs> and I think I was hitting the pose for too long because I was just like <laughs> then going and then after a few times the visual effects guy was like yeah uh, you don't need to hold it for so long <laughs> I was like okay so um, learning every day making mistakes and learning so, yeah. we saw the relationship with Wally and Joe obviously develop over season two where will it kind of go moving forward I know you've only read three episodes yeah. but it seems pretty solid at the end of season two does it continue to develop or change so. or um, how is that dynamic yeah, I think like I think Wally will. The issue is like you know he's still they're still figuring each other out and like the dynamic and how uh, a father treats a son at this age. You know, Wally hasn't been there, so I feel like Joe would be treating him a little younger than he needs to, um, and at times maybe it's appropriate. Yeah, but uh, I think they're in a good place. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.